Hey guys, good morning. This is Steve Wabach, your friendly public adjuster. Uh, today I'm going to put together a little video here. We're going to talk about the patches on a roof. And uh, you really shouldn't be doing that. All right? Uh, real simple. Okay? That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, no, 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 I'm not finished. Uh, the, the reason why you, you should not get involved with patches. Uh, well, let, let's do this first. Why should you get involved with a patch? Well, the insurance company wants you to get involved with a patch, and simply because nine times out of ten, they're going to be able to walk away and wash your hands and not do a thing. They'll deny the claim, and that's it. And the reason why they can do that is the cost of a patch is very, very minuscule. Uh, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars, something like that. And what happens is you have a deductible to satisfy. So, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll play it out. Here, here's what happens. The insurance adjuster comes over. He looks at the roof and says, oh, yeah, I see that. I mean, this is the positive, the, the, the medium positive. Let's put it that way, if that makes sense. The positive is he says, here, I'm going to write you a big fat check. I want you to get that whole roof replaced. That's not going to happen. The medium positive is that he'll look at this and say, all right, well, I see you got a patch there. Okay, no problem. We're, we're going to help you out there. Uh, my estimate on this thing is that the value to, for that patch would be somewhere in the area of, uh, you know, $375. Okay, so, you know, we... we would allow $375 payment. It says, oh, but in your policy, your deductible is $750 or $1,000 or $500, you know, something along those lines. So because of that, it's going to say, because you don't satisfy the deductible, there would be no payment at all. This claim's denied, and, uh, you know, we're moving on. Have yourself a great day. So that that's what happens from the insurance side. Now, from our side is we look at that and we see, number one, if you've got some shingles blowing off or coming off from some reason, maybe a tree branch hit it and knocked a, a shingle off, that's telling you the age of the roof is, is up there. That's also telling you that down the road, there's going to be more. Now, how many shingles do you have up there? All right, well, that's how many that can come down. All right, because of that, the fact that you've just had this circumstance happen now, wouldn't it be great to be able to utilize that to your advantage, that's right, your advantage, and get this roof either completely repaired or at least half of it so that you only have to come up with the other half to pay for. And that's, that's the approach we come with. As a public adjuster, it would be... It would not be proper, it would not be professional for me to come out and say, no problem, got you covered, we're going to get you a whole new roof. That is our ultimate goal. That's what our objective is, to get you a new roof. It doesn't always happen that way, though. But what does happen is we always get you at least that half elevation. If you have an A-frame roof, we're going to get you that whole half of it. And if it's a, a, a multi-angled roof, you know, we're going to get the majority of it. Sometimes we don't get all of it. And we I tell you that right up front. But that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm first trying. Um, but isn't that a whole different story than having the adjuster come out and looking at this and it doesn't meet the deductible and therefore eh, declined? I think it's a, that's the two worlds apart there. So what am I saying? When you have a situation, you've seen, you may not be looking up at your roof all the time, and I understand that. But you may be walking up to your front door and see a shingle laying in the grass or laying on your front porch. Well, how did it get there? Well, they say it fell from the roof. So if that's happening, that's a tell, tell, tell sign that something else is going on. And like I say, the fact that your roof is getting older, it's only a matter of time. And we can take care of it now prior to you getting it, having more damage. And therefore, when it, you get a bad rainstorm, now you've got water inside and there's a lot, there's a bigger project to the whole thing. And you may lose some very valuable heirlooms or, or just some other types of things that, uh, you know, you, you, you're going to have to deal with replacing. 
So that's what I had to offer today. This is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Oh, I have some new and exciting news. Sit down for this, guys. Everyone seated? Like my pastor says at church, buckle your seatbelts here. All right? I'm going to even go so much further, say, put on your helmets, because this is earth-shattering. Now I built this up. There's no way I'm going to ever measure it up to that. The bottom line to this is, I now have a website. It's still in construction, but there's a website you can go to that has a little bit of information and has some videos on there too. And let me guess. No, you guess. I already know what it is. <laughs> uh, what the website is, is Steve Walbach. Let me start over. This is my first time. Come on, give me a break, guys, will you? www. Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster.com. Can you believe that? I was able to get that as my domain. I got that for two years. And once that comes to expire, we'll renew it again. So that's mine. That's my domain. That's my website. So www.stevewalbach, your friendly public adjuster.com. Go, go on there. And as I say, you'll, you'll get to see my page it's it's in construction right now but it's not going to a message comes up oh this is in construction there's nothing to view now there's not a whole lot but at least there's something so we're very excited about that we're going to have a lot of information on there all the time you know give you little blips so uh, this is this is a next move to to really branch out and, and be able to help you guys uh, I'm going to be around for a while I'm not going anywhere so if you know anybody that has any issues uh, please let them know about me. Please tune into this. This is, of course, uh, on YouTube. Uh, and subscribe to me. Give me one of these. I think this one today definitely deserves, since I talked about the website. Come on. Give me one of those. Please. Um, please like it. Share it. Subscribe to me. Whatever you got to do. Put a check in the mail. Send it to me. No, I, I don't need that. Don't worry about that. But, uh, you know, please spread this around uh, and let other people know about this. Thank you very much, guys, for listening to this. Uh, my number, just in case, is 610-213-8820. Again, that's 610-213-8820. Uh, perhaps uh, you got an issue coming up. Don't wait till it gets worse. This is a good time to do it now before you go on vacation. Let's get this thing taken care of. Rather than be on vacation and come home, and what are you going to see? Yeah, that's going to make for a good video. You know, people are going to be out traveling for the summer. Oh, enough said. I got. I'm going to do that. All right, guys. So I appreciate you listening to me. Uh, I I really need your support. I'm um, I'm I'm helping you guys out, whether you realize it or not. Uh, so um, I really appreciate everything. Guys, have a beautiful day, and God bless you.